What's up, Panda? It's Peter from Panda here. Hey, just picked up this action camera from Ankov. Um, again, it's not a super expensive action camera. It's not the cheapest one, but it's certainly cheaper than a lot of the big boy brands out there that I really don't find uh, offer a whole lot better performance than these. So I've been really impressed with them. But I just thought I'd check this one out too because it seemed pretty nice. It's a sports action camera. And I thought we'd unbox it here and then give it kind of a whirl out there in the real world and see how it how it goes so first of all here's the box and boom man here's everything you get uh you get your action camera in a waterproof housing so in a clear waterproof housing man uh the flange on the the camera lens is pretty big so and it's covered in plastic which i like you know they're doing their their bit to protect everyone protection people you've got to be protected and uh so we'll take that off and clean that up but um, so I'm pretty excited that that should be waterproof. Obviously it has like a GoPro type of mount here. Uh, this clip will obviously slide into one of the bases. We're gonna, you know, change that out so I can either wear it and mount it to some different things here. Get a cover on the back. As you can see, that's uh, like a two inch LCD screen, usually color. You have uh, rockers on the side, volume and select up and down. You have the power button right here. You have uh, your shutter, you know, start, stop, but also um, it, it's also kind of your select or execute button, depending on, you know, using this power button to kind of go through the different modes. Um, the clip up here is a little bit different than some of the other ones I've looked at in the past. I'm actually not entirely sure how you open it. Uh, does it slide or something? Uh, oh, okay. That kind of pulls up like that with this ring there, and then, then it kind of lifts off the back. So we can open it up and get the camera out the action camera which also has plastic all over it which is good it's good it's man it's a tight fit in there it's coming out there we go and here is the uh, the camera itself right so a pretty standard camera you know camera action camera design I think it looks pretty nice it's a matte black finish Looks like there's even a flash or something right there I mean it's the indicator light because you have a similar one up there which I've normally seen but I haven't normally seen that one right there uh, mode and power button it's obviously 1080p and then Wi-Fi so usually you can either control it and see what they're seeing on your camera and or um, you know transfer movies to your phone which does kind of work sporadically we've got another piece of plastic on there and let's see if there's any charge in it battery compartments down on the bottom just take this off there we go Give off no card okay so we're gonna have to put a tf card in there that usually goes on this side you can see you've got uh hdmi uh out but you know the micro hdmi and then um uh, micro usb for recharging and then that's where your sd card goes um, i would definitely make sure that you remember that you need to kind of format those often or not often but when you throw one in there you want to format it because um, my experience has been it'll still record to it but if you don't format it in the camera but you can't view anything on the camera you've got to throw it into a computer and then it kind of just reads it like a file system so if you want to be able to kind of scroll through your videos or scroll through your photos on the action camera when you put it in you want to format it there um, in the box here you also you have uh, the remote with uh, the loops on the side so that you can strap it to your wrist and this allows you to kind of hit record and um, you know control the camera functions from your wrist which is actually pretty nice here's a little base for I don't know mounting the camera a couple of them you've got some foamies in here you have some straps these are pretty nice I actually use these to strap it around things and you have a box right here which is it says a multi-function case what is that oh man wow holy crap you get a you get way more in this than I have in some of my other action cameras so there is a full-on little kind of like leather pleather type of case so if you want to use it like a camera you can certainly do that without kind of the the waterproof housing which is actually really nice because i think you kind of get the the video doesn't suffer as much but the audio usually greatly improves when you don't have the the waterproof housing case on there so there it is access to the buttons you know all all the buttons the indicator light obviously the screen on the back um snap shut here looks like it even comes with a little lens for the front you know, it looks like you have a lanyard uh, and then there's some clips because 
it also has a clip here which is pretty freaking cool because you can clip this on and then stick it to your shirt like a body cam or stick it to your belt does this rotate yeah it does dude that's sick stick it to your belt crotch cam you know whatever man um so just this little piece of hardware i think is that's a that's a that's a differentiator between every other action cam i've bought so i'm pretty impressed with that it is a snug fit you're gonna kind of be patient wiggling these things on and off and you want to make sure that's up so that you're not fighting uh physics on the camera um so so far i'm pretty impressed microfiber cloth second battery because we obviously know there's one battery in there you get your manual and then man you get a whole host of accessories more straps velcro straps holy crap um every type of connector you can imagine you know uh bicycle handles handlebar you get another uh back door for the the, the waterproof housing case it said clips galore you have looks like some double-sided sticky pads you have zip ties and wires uh, you have a, a tripod housing for the the the, the camera you have a power outlet which usb um, for your micro usb cable and then you have um, some additional mounts here so lots of stuff man i mean i'm impressed with how much stuff you get here obviously the camera obviously uh the other thing that i was really impressed with was obviously this little like leather case here and then the um the waterproof case here now we are going to go ahead and, and test this thing out i'm going to take shoot a bunch of video i'm going to put an sd card in here uh keep in mind that there's nowhere did i see an sd card included so i mean that's kind of nice in the fact that you can decide how big of an sd card you want 8 gigs 64 gigs um, but we're going to test out some video i'm even going to attach it to a remote control boat i bought and see if we can splash this sucker around and i don't know i'll probably lose it at the bottom of a pond but we'll give it a try and see what kind of video that that uh brings up so let's go ahead and take it and shoot, shoot out there. so i took the camera out in a couple different environments driving i actually thought that the motion capture was pretty good even though the camera only advertises 1080p i thought you know the, the blur and pixelation that you get in a lot of high speed footage um, wasn't visible so I thought it uh, worked pretty well now uh, the colors I thought were pretty good even shooting uh, from inside my car through tinted windows you know the picture quality is pretty good so understand that there's a little bit of kind of a sepia um, you know uh kind of saturation issue when shooting through tinted windows outside uh this mercedes amg gt coupe was totally badass and uh it was kind of nice having a small camera that you can kind of swivel around and track something even when you're not looking at it so it is pretty handy for catching stuff uh in a handheld form that's much easier than a camera or a smartphone sometimes here is uh, where i was wearing the camera on a chest harness and so you can see me bouncing around a little bit as i'm walking and then also filming uh, my remote control mastercraft with the chest harness on so you can certainly get kind of a first person view using it uh it did not come with the chest harness you have to buy that separately but it did work pretty well especially if you're trying to capture you know activities with uh, kids or um, on a roller coaster or just uh, out fishing I think this could work really really well and then outside kind of in the evening uh, even though it's not low light it's just kind of a uh, low Sun I thought the picture quality is actually quite nice even looking into the light to, you tend to get a lot of lens flare and uh, some color wash out but that didn't seem to happen here I also did record audio even though the action camera was always inside the housing the audio always worked sometimes action cameras can be a little finicky and sometimes they record unusable audio or sometimes the audio doesn't record at all and you have to go back to the settings and reset it but this one was uh, problem free in that regard i also did test the waterproof housing uh, didn't expect any problems with that especially at a depth of only a couple inches but just uh, kind of threw it into some standing water completely submerged it and obviously it kept running and filming and also the audio did work although it's just really really quiet so overall 
I think this Amcov action camera comes with a ton of accessories and is just a kind of a bulletproof, reliable action camera. And 1080p tends to be a perfect resolution for splicing in action shots into your home movie. So I would totally recommend it. Check the link out in the description for uh, the location to buy this action camera. But uh, I'm definitely going to keep using this one. Peter Von Panda, out!